my friends. Today we are going to talk all about dating in Aries and in this video I'm going to tell you what is so wonderful and what is so difficult about dating in Aries. Also, how to dump your Aries. If you are just fed up and ready to get rid of them, well, I'm going to give you tips on the best way of doing that. And if you got dumped by an Aries, wah, wah, I'm sorry, it hurts my heart, but I can tell you why this most likely happened. So hold on to your hat because all fire signs and especially Aries are double your money or double your trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. So first, you must be a strong, bold, confident person to even be able to attract an Aries and get them to ask you out. They don't like the meek, they don't like the mild, and since they kind of consider themselves number one, or the best, or the connoisseur of life, they are also pretty much looking for that exact same thing. So is that you? If you have a lot of Aries in your chart, I want you to watch this video. And if you don't have any Aries in your chart, you have it in some place. You have it in a house. This arena in your life, this place, is where you're going to kind of act like this. So if you have this in the sixth house, like if you have Aries ruling your sixth house, then you're going to bring this Arian energy to the sixth house issues. That would be your daily life, your daily routine, your work. If you have this in the fourth house, you're going to bring this energy into your family life. Even if you're not dating in Aries, this video is so good for you to understand the Arian part of you. So right now, leave me a comment and tell me what planets do you have in Aries and what house do you have Aries ruling? And if you guys don't know, you should get my unique chart rulers report. It is so good and it will tell you all about your houses. So this video is going to really resonate with those people who have prominent personal planets in Aries or a packed out first house. So if you have your rising sign, your sun, moon, Mercury, Mars, or Venus, maybe even Jupiter, or if you've got a lot of planets, any sign in the first house, you're really going to resonate to this. But I also want you to think about the people or the person that you know, and do they have those personal planets in Aries in their chart? Leave me your comments and let me know where is your Aries and are you involved with an Aries? And if so, what is your sun sign? And can you relate to this video? Do not be shy or understated with your Aries. And wherever you have Aries in your chart, you're probably not shy and understated. Aries does not have time for like mealy mouth, indirect, shy, insecure people. They're going to just steamroll right through you, right over you. They're just going to trample you. They equate this insecure person or this insecurity as kind of boring. And this is a sign that invites you to lose your reservations. They like it bold and direct and swift and fast and quick and they like it laid out. They seriously do not have time to coddle you. With Aries, it's the bolder is better. Don't be weird or obnoxious. They don't like that and they can detect that. But do not be afraid to say hello first and give them an honest compliment. They hate fakery. Even if you feel like they're fake, they can sniff it, they can smell it in another person, and they do not like false flattery at all. Remember, these people are ruled by Mars. They really do like a person, though, who can go first because it shows confidence. You do not need to hold back. If you find your Aries attractive, ask them out. Ask them, I don't know, ask them for Taco Tuesday and margaritas, whatever. Ask them to go for a walk with your dogs. They you get no penalty and no foul for that. One thing that's a great icebreaker with an Aries is tell them something really perceptive, as something that's a little deeper than the surface that is really fabulous that you see about them. Mm -hmm. It might be something that other people don't actually see. Something that you've caught about them that goes by others. Oh, 
they will be salivating for you. They love compliments. They love deep compliments, genuine, authentic compliments, and most of all, perceptive compliments because they're just whizzing through life and you can stop them dead in their tracks with this uncanny compliment. Also, on your first date, I kind of want you to wear a candy apple red. <laughs> just try it for me okay try it for me and then come back here and leave me a comment fire siren red for your Aries but but let me tell you there's a key to this it's not gonna be just a red outfit okay no 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 if you're a woman I kind of want you to wear something that's like white or black a white sheer or a black and then I just want a little red something that's a peekaboo right just to keep their curiosity like hmm and if you're a man it would be cool if you wore like red socks <laughs> I know that sounds funny but fancy red socks with a really cool suit or a red little pocket square red shoes or just a little touch just a little smattering of red the one thing about Aries, and they're very, very similar to Gemini this way, they do not like wasting time. This sign is also the sign that will not punish you for having sex with them at hello. <laughs> you don't need a long courtship before undressing yourself. But I do want to tell you this. Aries is confident and they usually expect to win and they usually expect positive results at seducing you. So if you want to draw out their desire, it's not a bad idea to make Aries have to sweat to win you. And I don't mean to make it impossible. I mean, this isn't Scorpio. <laughs> For Scorpio, the game needs to be impossible. <laughs> Give them a little hope, but keep walking it back a little bit. Like, hmm, maybe not tonight or maybe tomorrow. Encourage them that they will eventually get to the finish line. It just might not be today for lunch. <laughs> don't hate me. <laughs> Hopefully you watched my whole entire Aries playlist and if you haven't I encourage you to do so. I encourage you to watch all of my playlists because on this channel we do very deep astrology. It's just that I finished my entire Pluto series and I went down to the bowels of the soul, right, of the karmic contract in life and I exhausted myself. So I decided to do this next series which is my dating series, but I hope that you will go and look at my deeper astrology. So as I was saying, you need to sort of feed your Aries with a little bit of hope, right? But just walk it back a little bit. And this is like how I get my dog Teddy into the car and it works. I keep holding the treat just one step further. And then when he jumps into the car, I reward him big time when he has worked so hard to win the treat. And what is the treat? You, my beautiful friend, you are the treat. And you must absolutely, it is imperative that you think of yourself as the treat for your Aries. You are the prize. You are the treat. You are the gold medal. And they love winning and they play to win at all costs. Be the prize and tease them to win by crossing the finish line. That's how you can compound their desire, their lust for you. Make your Aries sweat while trying to capture you. This, let me give you a bit of truth here, okay? Aries likes to win for sure, absolutely for sure, but more than winning, they like to try to win. Okay, so it's not the big win that is so exciting, although that is exciting, but what is so exciting is the attempt to win, the possibility that they could win, the, the actual competition on the way to the win. So it isn't in the win as much as it is in the journey of winning, the process. 
So be the process. Aries usually values things that require gusto, rigor, sweat equity, and giving it their all. Like I said, they're ruled by Mars, and it's usually a do or die with Aries, having to fight for something. So while they do like things easy, making them see you in a way that forces them to respect you, it really is the golden nugget around how to get them to commit to you. You just have to give them lots of teas, lots of admiration, and lots of fun along the way. Don't make it too rulesy or rigid or frigid or, you know, don't even let them know that you've got rules. You just say, oh, honey, I, I don't know about tonight, maybe tomorrow. Do you want to go out tomorrow? <laughs> maybe next time. Aries has got to have rewards though. They are not into punishment or a punitive game, so it's best if this isn't a game or a strategy. It's best if this just comes from your natural self-confidence. But they need to feel your heat, your interest, and your enthusiasm for them along the way. Then when you surrender to them, they get addicted to winning you all over again. This is how you get a commitment from an Aries. Are you in a commitment with an Aries? And will you tell us a little bit about your courtship and how did it go? Please leave a comment. And while you're at it, like and subscribe and hit the little bell because I do do a lot of lives with mini micro readings for you guys and I don't want you to miss out. I'm going to do some spontaneous lives coming up. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God, you guys, I have to tell you this. This is so exciting. I have brand new packages, charts and reports in my shop. I want you to go check them all out. They're so amazing. I didn't write them, but I researched the very best ones on the market and I have a new soulmate package. It is so good. You can just um, go check everything out in the notes section below, but I'm just going to tell you real quick, you get your composite chart. So you need to know your partner's birth time for this to be really, really accurate and your birth time. So you get your composite chart and you also are going to get your amazing composite report. Yes, I've never sold a composite report and it talks about you and your partner blended together in one chart and what is your karmic contract. So there's you and them and then there is the us or the we and the composite is the we. You're also going to get your love and romance transits for a year. Just your love and romance transits for the whole entire year for yourself. And you're going to also get a compatibility report where it talks about the pros and the cons. Um, and my other compatibility report mostly talks about the pros, but this also will show you the pitfalls. So it's really exciting. I want you guys to go check it out. So I want to know, do you feel exhausted or excited by your Aries or both? Because that is the key question in knowing if your Aries is good for you. Are you exhausted? Are you ready to pull out your hair or are you so invigorated and excited? I came up with three solid ways that you can dump your Aries if you need to get out of this obnoxious relationship. The first thing is tell them that maybe you have a temporary STD and your doctor or a yeast infection or an infection of some sort and you just can't have intimacy for six weeks. <laughs> Usually with Aries, sex means love and love means sex. <laughs> They're synonymous. They'll pretty much be gone. Yeah, they'll probably go and then come back again. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, this is not like Cancer or Pisces that has this genuine patience to sit around and hold your hand while you take your antibiotics, you know, waiting for you to come back to them. And, and if they are like so patient and loving and kind and like, oh, it's okay, honey. And, you know, we can just watch, you know, movies and it's, it's totally fine. I want you to stalk their phone. <laughs> or they must have a lot of Taurus in their chart. I don't know. Maybe not even that. But you just double check their word. Okay. That's what I really mean. The second thing you can do if you need to get rid of your Aries is tell them, you know, give them a compliment. Just tell them that they're just too damn good for you. They're just too put together. They're, they're too much. They're too amazing. They just, they deserve someone who can keep up with them and, and you just can't. And, um, you know, I'm going to tell you the truth. They already kind of believe this. It doesn't matter who you are. They already kind of believe this. So just say it out loud. You're just, honestly, you're too good for me. You deserve somebody better. I mean, I know it's the secret shocker. Yeah, they already think that. They don't like losing. So they're going to try to convince you that, oh my God, you guys just have so much passion and you guys just have so much chemistry and they've never had it this way before because they don't want to let the intimacy go. So they'll try to make a friends with benefits arrangement or agreement with you. And you need to say, hmm, 
Let me think about it, okay? Just let me think about it. You don't want to say flat out no, because then they're not going to leave and they're going to still sit there trying to convince you to let them win you back. Remember, they like the process of winning. So this could really attract them back to you. So I just want you to say, I'll think about it. And then you move on and you, you need to delete their phone number. And it's kind of your sweet Aries revenge. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. <laughs> this just comes from my years of knowledge of Aries. The third way to get your Aries to dump you, and it's actually really, really easy. Ask your Aries to share their location with you on Find My Friends or 360 Live or whatever. And when they're not where they said they would be, oh, oopsie, I want you to question them. <laughs> Call them incessantly and leave them really sappy. I love you. I'm worried about you voicemails. They will actually ghost you so fast, you won't even need to have the breakup conversation. Okay, now, if you're feeling sad and blue, and hopefully you're bringing a little bit of a sense of humor to my video series, but if the Aries love of your life dumped you, here are some real likely reasons why. The first is, is you just might be too boring. I know that might be not very nice to say, but they do not like vanilla. They do not like predictable, steady Eddie. They like living large and taking big risks and living life a little dangerously. And if you're just a flat soccer ball, well, my Aries girlfriend gave, the, gave me that metaphor. This just ain't going to work. So you have to really have an honest assessment. You know, go ask your best friend. Do you think I'm a little bit boring for my Aries? Do you think I am? Hmm. Yeah, you need a really good best friend. Like, yeah, you might just be too steady. You might just be too predictable. You might be just too calm and peaceful. You might be too routined. You might not have enough of a repertoire in between the sheets. These people have an unbridled passion and they want to explore it. They're super adventurous. And you just might not be comfortable doing that. The other reason why your Aries might be ghosting you, not talking to you, not taking you seriously, not committing to you, or has broken up with you is maybe you can't hold your own power. You know, they do not and will not date a doormat and they need you to be powerful and be willing to fully stand in your power. And if they get no pushback from you, if you take offense easily and you, you get upset easily and they can't banter with you back and forth and they can't throw you a little bit of barbed wire to chew on for lunch, then this probably isn't gonna work. Yeah. The other reason why they might have dumped you or they're ghosting you or they're not that interested, and this is a hard one, especially for male Aries to tell female Aries, um, is you might not exercise enough for them. You know, Aries like someone who's fit, who's on the go, who can keep up with them. You don't have to be a gym rat at Gold's Gym lifting, you know, you don't have to be lifting thousands of pounds squatting every day. No, but you just need to be working out to a respectable degree and they like a good rugged competition. So you need to be a little bit fit. Now, if your Aries does not go into the gym or work out themselves, then their energy might be a mental energy or a financial energy or a soulful energy or like most Aries, it's a physical energy. They like fit partners. And I'm going to be honest with you, they're not the best caretakers. They don't want somebody getting old on them who they're going to have to nurse. They do probably make good doctors and nurses professionally. They want a partner who can match them. So if you've got, you know, a Navy SEAL Aries partner, they're kind of looking for some version of a counterpart. The last thing I would say is maybe you're not direct enough. You know, you can, this is the most exciting part of being involved with an Aries. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Be direct, speak up, voice your opinion. Be bold, say the ugly truth. These people can actually handle it. Okay, we're going to talk about what is so great about dating an Aries. But first, I want to say, if you are a parent of an Aries, if your child is an Aries, you got to go check out my new report, the child's report. It is so good. Oh my God. OMG, OMG. I cannot believe it. I bought the software for this report because I saw it written and I thought it was phenomenal. 
just phenomenal. This report is going to help you parent your Aries child from their needs, not from your need, not from your wounds. So a lot of times as parents, we're like, wow, I never got the opportunity to travel. So I am going to make sure my kid gets to travel. Well, maybe your kid doesn't even have a desire to travel, right? This report will help you with learning what they most need and what their disposition inside before they can even communicate it to you. And it's one of my new reports. You can just click the notes below or click the shop tab at soulnavigation.com. Find this report. It is just so good. What is so great about dating in Aries? So first, you have to remember these people, and I say this very lovingly, they are young at heart. We might even call them toddlers at heart. <laughs> they have a short attention span. They're actually, you know, what are toddlers? They're they're actually pretty easy to please. They love attention. They love adoration. They love fun. Um, they love things that go boom. They love things that combust that, and including energy and jokes and wit and laughter. They love your face looking admirably at them. Are you dating an Aries? Where is Aries in your chart? Because that's where you love attention. Is it in the first house, 12th house, 7th house? Where is Aries in your chart. You know, they will love your, your touch, your affection, your cuddles. They like big, flashy, splashy things. Anything that makes them feel that they're kind of worship. They're kind of the center of your universe. They're really respected. They like being a little bit on a pedestal. They'll tell the same big story over and over because they have over-identified with that big success story in their lives. So indulge them. Don't say, oh God, Bob, you tell that story every time. No, laugh as if you never heard. <gasps> Really? You you got that job without even interviewing? Wow, you must be amazing. And you've heard it 23 times, right? <laughs> like a Leo, like a Sagittarius, you know, like fire signs. They like big praise, big adulations. So if you do that, they're pretty easy to please. And I'm sorry, who doesn't love a little toddler? They're adorable. They are adorable, usually. Aries are fun. They are so fun. They are so exciting. They will take you head first into new adventures, places you have never been before. They keep things really exciting and on the move, and they are always planning and plotting the next thing. Even while you're doing the great big adventure, zip lining, woo, in Costa Rica, they're planning where you're going to go surfing. They're just super fun. They will keep you at maximum throttle all the time. You will not die old, asleep, lazy, doing nothing with an Aries in your life. <laughs> they will weekend at Bernie's you and keep you moving around. <laughs> you will live life to the fullest every single day you are involved with an Aries. They feel like life is a game to win at, a challenge to be conquered. And I think I can promise you one thing, and I want you guys to agree or disagree with me here, but I, I think I can promise you that Aries will grow your confidence, your risk factor, and your ability to declare what you want in the world. It's so damn refreshing to date in Aries. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Or is it exhausting? <laughs> One of my very best friends is an Aries. I love her to pieces. Oh, she is fantastic. She is so easy on my nerves because she's just so direct. She doesn't apologize for things she doesn't need to apologize for. She is just 100% authentically who she is. And I love it because I don't have to guess at anything. I'll ask her, do you want chicken? I'm making some chicken tonight. She's like, are you kidding? You know that I've been a vegetarian for 25 years, Meredith. What the hell? No, I don't want chicken. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I think what's hard about dating in Aries is you probably have to deal with their self-interests all the time, or at least more than your own. And they mix self-destruction with self-indulgence. And they can take you down into their downward spiral very easily. They're kind of addictive. I mean, you kind of want to attach yourself, you know, to their parachute. And that can get you in over your head. Also, I think their boredom is a real problem. They get bored really easily. And so they're off to the next more interesting thing. And that's probably not you. And that will probably hurt your feelings. I would say the number one complaint I get from people dating an Aries or being involved with an Aries whether it's a mother or a, or a father or a sibling or a romantic partner or a friend is 
the person who's involved with Aries gets their feelings hurt. And Aries is oblivious to hurting other people's feelings. They really don't get it. They don't know that they do it. They don't know how they come across. They're too gruff, too rough, too bold, too big. And they squash people and they have no clue, none. So if you have prominent Aries in your chart, where do you have it? And that is probably the place where you're a little bit bold and where you can hurt other people's feelings. They kind of like to stir the pot and they run on competitive, intense energy. They'll even compete with the person who's on television just talking in your living room, proving that they are smarter, better, wiser, the higher earner, more successful, more ambitious, more gutsy, more of a daredevil, won, won that award, got that t-shirt, been there, done that. Something obnoxious and off-putting like that. I don't know exactly, but you tell me. And if you're an Aries, are you okay? Can you handle this? I think you can. Right? I think you can. Sometimes it's embarrassing for the person involved with the Aries to take the Aries person out into public <laughs> and to meet your friends or your family because you have no idea what is literally going to pop out of their mouth. What thing are they going to say? Like, oh my God, oh my God, we're either going to have hurt feelings, tears, or be massively embarrassed and not be able to recover. So it is kind of like taking a lethal weapon out into the world. And they will not be put on a leash. And you cannot put a sock in their mouth. They will not shut up. No way. You cannot dominate an Aries. And by the way, that thing that just pops out of their mouth that was embarrassing or rude or too harsh or too truthful or too bold or too brazen, uh, that's just a hobby for them, by the way. <laughs> that's a hobby. Yeah, just popping off like that. For whatever reason, Aries has got to be number one and they will do whatever they need to do to prove that they are it. And so it could be that they just put you down or put another person down or they cold shoulder you or they brag about themselves. I don't know, but it, it runs a little on the obnoxious side. So that's the hard part. If you don't have a lot of Libra in your chart or if your Aries doesn't have a lot of thoughtfulness in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, Libra, Taurus, it, you're probably going to see this like rough and tumble maverick. It's pretty easy and pretty fun for Aries, or I should say to date an Aries, if you have a lot of Gemini, Leo, Aquarius in your chart. So tell me if you do, and tell me your sun sign if you are in a happy relationship with an Aries, and what do you like the best about your Aries, and what's really, really hard about Aries. Also, if you guys want a compatibility, love, and romance reading, or if you just want to understand yourself more deeply, if you feel like talk therapy is getting you absolutely nowhere, consider getting a reading from somebody on my team. You can go check us all out, our online scheduler, our rates, our times, our availability, and what we specialize in over at soulnavigation.com. And also, I would really recommend come join our community. It is only 25 cents a day. You get to be a part of this incredible community community. You get your questions and comments answered and there's so many perks. I want to say thank you all for helping me get to 60,000 subscribers. I am so touched. I am so grateful and I can't wait to finish this series for you. I hope you're having as much fun as I am from my home in Seattle to wherever you are at in the world. I wish you the very best. Take good care.